Hey church family, Pastor Bubba here. Uh, we just wrapped up Galatians number 11. We were looking at chapter 5, verses 16 through 26. And what we see this week is that uh, when you walk by the power of the Holy Spirit, amazing things happen in your life. When you walk by the Spirit, there's going to be faithfulness. When you walk by the Spirit, you're going to live out the reality of freedom in Christ. And this section of Scripture is very, very helpful. It tells us that there will be conflicting desires in our heart, that there'll be these desires of the flesh, tempting us to sin, desires of the Spirit, uh, the Spirit calling us to faithfulness and freedom. And we need to learn how to discern the difference between these desires so that we can uh, listen to the Spirit and walk by the power of the Spirit, follow the Spirit. Because when we follow the Spirit, we're following Jesus. And so I want to invite you this week to consider uh, the desires of your own heart. Where are you tempted? How do you struggle? What does that look like for you? Pray about that. Think about that. Even reflect on the scripture that we looked at. Maybe read verses 19 and 20 and 21 again. Are there any of those sins alive in you? What is God calling you to put to death, to crucify through the cross of Christ? Uh, think about these things and then share them in community. We are a church family, so we don't live an autonomous life uh, apart from the family of God. We are the family of God. And so we share our struggles. We pray for one another. We do life together. And so I would invite you, encourage you to do that this week in your community groups. Uh, this, this section of scripture really hits on two key aspects of discipleship. One is transformation, how God is changing us and transforming us so that we look more like Jesus. And the other is legacy. When you walk by the power of the Spirit, you will lead a legacy. You will leave a legacy. You will build a legacy for Jesus that will bless many other people. And so I'm hoping that you experience this power of God, the Holy Spirit in your life, and that you grow more and more uh, in grace and become someone who demonstrates the work of the Spirit to others. And so love you, bless you, have a great week.